so here's how I'm thinking things went down at Raven in the last 24 hours. Hey, you see that guy Espresso? He talked about the changes we have coming for the mid-season update and kept referring to it as the next title update. You want to make him look like an idiot and have a good laugh? Let's drop another title update before then. Now, I say this because we talked about some changes that are scheduled for the mid-season update, but with a title update here in between that, well, it kind of nullifies that next update mention that we kept talking about. Now, if you jumped onto Warzone at all today, you'll probably notice that update 1.54 went out for the game across all platforms. It was about a gig on console, if I'm not mistaken, and a little bit over four gigabytes on PC. So today we're breaking down what you should know of this update, and more specifically talking about something that has some huge gameplay implications that this brings along for something coming as of tomorrow, but also what it could mean for the future and how it could potentially also affect mainline BR and Warzone as a whole. So today we're gonna break that down. Let me know your thoughts as we go along. Good, bad, do you hope to see these changes extend to mainline BR? Whatever the case, drop it down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Warzone, Vanguard, Modern Warfare 2 here potentially in the next coming weeks to months here as we gear up for COD 2022 later on in the year. And of course, if you also wanna support the channel a little further, Creator code Espresso in the COD shop is a great and entirely optional way to do so. Don't ever feel pressured to. But anyways, let's talk about this update. So like I said, the update itself went out for consoles as well as PC. About one gigabyte, I think it was, on console and about four gigabytes on PC. But when you look at it, a lot of what comes down to these changes seem to be a lot of smaller bug fixes. None of the really big stuff that we talked about in yesterday's video. That stuff's still withstanding. But then a lot of the stuff we also see presumably is back-end changes here that are allow for some of these game settings for what we see tomorrow with Iron Trials duos and also the new updates to Vanguard Royale coming as well. We also saw a little bit sprinkled in there, a little bit of weapon tuning, but very minor, but we'll talk about that as well. Actually, let's start there. Let's start with the weapon tuning. Firstly, the Bren did have an adjustment here where they fixed the bug with the Queen's 705mm Royal Barrel to bypass the intended damage falloff, but that isn't the bug fix or the balancing pass we are expecting here for that. So that seems to be an additional fix, but what you see in terms of the Bren itself is still out there as its pre-patch build. So that's something that we're still waiting a little further on that. But when we talk about other weapons, the XM4 actually did have a little bit of adjusting here to it, where the neck damage multiplier was decreased to 1.33, which was down from 1.5. Now, the XM4 is a weapon that if I want to just play around with some other ones, it's up there in my top three to five weapons that I have a blast with. AK-47 from Black Ops Cold War is also up there. The Growl, the M4A1 can be viable as well. But the XM4 was a reliable weapon that had easy to control recoil and was relatively mobile for a rifle. So to see this, it knocks it down a few pegs in which it might not be as viable as it was beforehand. So you may notice that change if it is one of your main rifles to use here within Caldera and Warzone. But the other big stuff here in terms of the big changes that this update brought along with it come again for the Vanguard Royale adjustments. Now, as we know, there have been, as of recently, a couple of deviations in the standard rule sets here for Vanguard Royale versus traditional Battle Royale. We had differences in when loadout drops could be obtained. We had differences in, say, the UAVs being entirely removed from buy stations for a little bit here. But while, as we'll mention, the UAVs are now back in play here, there are still other deviations in the rule sets from traditional Battle Royale to Vanguard Royale, excluding just the basic fact that you can only use Vanguard items in Vanguard Royale. Now, coming to it, starting with that UAV, is that's actually now back into the rotation here in the buy stations, but it's now increased by 3,000 in price. So, whereas it's 6,000 in traditional BR, it's 9,000. So, Raven was playing around with the idea to not necessarily have this be something that's a crutch utility item, and where they saw a lot of feedback, both positively and negatively, where people loved the idea of not having UAV spam, but also those that still wanted to get it. So, they're playing around with this now to see where that balance may lie in terms of 9,000 versus 6,000 if it's something that still allows for the use or if it's not really where it needs to be. But the other big thing here in terms of Vanguard Royale, which is very interesting to me, is that they're going to be adjusting the core player health to be 150 HP instead of the base 100. Now, including armor, that means that you'll have a total health pull of 300 HP up from 250, as you'll see normally and also still 
in traditional battle royale and resurgence modes so that is something that is going to be very interesting it's a deviation here from the mainline battle royale experience but it isn't quite to the level of where we see with iron trials but it still increases that ttk ever so slightly and maybe a sweet spot here that we could see for warzone with vanguard royale and why i think this is interesting and why i think it's something important to pay attention to to give your feedback on to them on twitter or wherever you may leave feedback is that if you try this out you like it definitely voice that opinion because this seems to be like something that vanguard royale is slowly transitioning into the sort of testing or the beta game mode of battle royale overall so if we as a collective as a community here like this increase from 100 to 150 for that base health bringing us up to 300 adjusting that ttk slightly not quite to again the sort of ranked mode if you want to call it that without the ranked where iron trials is 250 base health this could be something that makes its way over into battle royale as a whole and warzone entirely could see this adjustment which I think wouldn't be half bad. One of the big problems with Warzone is that it still has such a fast TTK. So even if you're the most skilled of players, if you're going up against somebody that's mounted with a Bren or something like that, you can't really turn on them and then return fire. You're dead before you can even really blink. So to have this now as potentially a testing period for what could ultimately change Warzone as a whole, I'm intrigued. I mean, it's certainly not to the level of Iron Trials, where again, that base health is still 100 HP more, an entire life as we know it now, more than what this updated version will be. That seems to be perhaps the standard of an air quote, competitive fundamental building block for Warzone here and what we may see. Iron Trials being marketed as the more competitive mode here in Warzone, as opposed to traditional Battle Royale, Vanguard Royale, whatever the case. But it is something that even with that 50 HP increase on the base health, that could change a lot of dynamics in gunfights across the board, whether it be close quarters or long range, and is something that would allow for a lot more outplay maneuvers, a lot of chances to really shine competitively and have that ability to, if you maybe say get shot once or twice beforehand, you can still come out of a gunfight as the victor. So that's something that is certainly interesting. I'm very curious to see how this plays out. I'm thinking that in Vanguard Royale, it's definitely going to be a positive, and I'm thinking that a lot of people may like it. Maybe I'm wrong, but for right now, as somebody that sees these concerns of a fast TTK within Warzone, it is something that's slowing that down, I think fundamentally, is going to be nice here. So we'll have to see how this all works out, but this update, while laying the framework here for what we see in tomorrow's update for Iron Trials and also this new and updated Vanguard Royale experience, it has the potential to fundamentally change Warzone at its base and at its core here going forward. So that said, definitely jump on as of tomorrow, check out Vanguard Royale, check out Iron Trials, and leave feedback where applicable so that if you do like this kind of stuff, make your voice heard so that potentially this could even make its way over into the mainline experience. Experience. But that said, that's going to wrap it up. Just want to let you guys know about the changes here on deck and what changed with this update. And again, thank you, Raven, for making me look like an idiot by referring to the next title update and talking about all these changes coming with midseason. But anyways, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you guys like these changes? Are you looking forward to the health increase in Vanguard Royale? And potentially, if it even leads to something further, feel free to let me know your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing running all things Warzone, Vanguard, anything COD related. We got you covered here on the channel. So if you guys are interested, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.